Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some self-care today because I have been working really hard recently. I've just had absolutely no spare time whatsoever and it's just, I feel like that's not healthy. <laughs> I feel like we can burn out really easily if we really don't take care of ourselves. So today I wanted to kind of do a vlog and talk about things that I've been doing recently and that I'm gonna be doing over the next few days to um, I just have some self-care and this is one of the reasons why I haven't, I've still tried to be consistent with uploading two videos a week but sometimes I haven't quite made Tuesdays so then I've gone for Thursday and Sunday instead but that's not what I want, I want it to be consistent so I have to find time for self-care so I'm going to be kind of doing a vlog today and sharing with you some of my favourite things for self-care and hopefully they will inspire you guys to make sure you're looking after yourself as well and not burning out and all that kind of stuff because it's really really great to be productive if you know that you're going to be using a short amount of time to do your work so that you can have some free time but it's not good to be like productive all the time because it does make you eventually burn out <laughs> so it's really important that you do take your self-care seriously. Also, one thing I do notice when I don't take care of myself and I don't practice self-care is all of the kind of things that I enjoy doing outside of work start to slip. So you guys know that I love to learn new things and I love to make sure I am keeping up with skills and stuff like that. Um, and that really does fall by the wayside when I am not making sure that I am looking after myself. Um, which leads me on to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. And I just want to say thank you to them for always supporting my channel and basically allowing me to do a lot of the things that I do on here, which is really awesome. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish your goals. If you're like me and an avid consumer of YouTube, then you'll know who Sorel Amor is. I've been really enjoying her class on YouTube success and how to build an authentic channel that's actually worth a follow. I really love her. I think that she's really creative and I just really enjoy understanding how best I can support my community by putting more effort in executing my videos in a more creative and authentic way. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people who click the link in the description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So click the description to get your free trial and let's get back to self-care. You probably all know by now that I uh, love to read. And one of my favourite things, honestly, for self-care is, is to read a book or to go on a walk and listen to an audiobook because... Even though people say that meditation is really important and things like that, and I have tried and I have been doing my five minutes a day, I see reading as a kind of meditation for me. And I see the kind of complete absorption in someone else's life and someone else's story as this ultimate meditation because you focus on them, you focus on the words, you focus on the story, you focus on imagining what their lives are like and the kind of visceral images that the author is describing to you. And for me, that really is a meditation. And also I love to escape into someone else's story because even though that can be seen as a negative thing, sometimes it's actually a nice thing to be able to just forget about everything just for an hour or just for 20 minutes while you are completely absorbed in someone else's incredible life and story. And it gives you this wonderful way of empathizing with other people. And I just, I think it's such a great way to, to take care of yourself if sometimes you just need a bit of a break from reality or you just need to see that other people, you know, other stories, other characters have these incredible lives or, or a way to empathise with them because they're struggling through something. And listening to audiobooks also has this effect for me. I've also been using audiobooks to listen to things that are a little bit heavier in terms of like science-based climate change books or I was listening to Atomic Habits. Well, I actually already listened to it. I listened to it in like one and a half days. Um, books that are more kind of factual and non-fiction, I find listening to them so much easier because I like to sit down and, and read fiction and escape into those really beautiful books and stuff like that. And I like listening to books that are a little heavier that I find harder to read because it just makes things a little bit more digestible for me. And to feel like I'm learning something 
makes me feel like I really am taking care of, of my brain as well as, you know, my physical body from going for the walk or something like that. So I think audiobooks and reading for me is one of the biggest ways for me to take to care about myself and to make sure I am really taking care of my mental and my physical health. The second thing I like to do is play with this guy. Yes is to do something like make a cup of coffee and do something that I would consider really luxurious, like have a bath. And like, I never ever have baths because one, I don't want to, but also two, obviously, like it can be a bit of a waste of water. So I really, really take care to consider if I ever want to have a bath, etc. And having a nice cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something with it when I do have a bath is like the best thing ever. And it just helps me to relax and do something just just for me. I think when, I don't know, in our lives today, we do spend so much time thinking about other people. If you have kids, if you, you know, have a very stressful job, if you have little pets that are very, very cute, then, you know, you're constantly thinking about other people and other people's needs. And even doing something small, like making a really delicious coffee and having a bath can just feel really luxurious and feel a bit indulgent and... You don't have to spend money to have, you know, take care of yourself. If anything, sometimes it's nice to do stuff for yourself so that you don't have to spend money and you can feel a little bit more in control. I just love having a lovely coffee and just taking five minutes to just clear my mind. Arguably the most important thing for me is alone time. When I spend a lot of time with people or doing lots of work that involves kind of talking to a lot of people and being around with people, going to events and things like that, or interviewing people or um, just working with like a video team or whatever, it absolutely drains me. Even if it's like the funnest thing in the entire world, it drains me so much and I just want to go home, get into bed and just be completely alone. I need to be able to be very still <laughs> and just be completely alone. I don't know if any of you guys ever ever feel that but like it's really important to me it's honestly such like a novel thing to me because like i would never get tired or drained by kind of hanging out with people or anything like that to be fair the only people i don't get drained by are like my school friends and like my boyfriend and family and stuff but any new friends that i have if i spend a lot of time i do feel exceedingly drained because i think in some respects i feel or especially if i go to an event i feel like i'm kind of performing in some way and i'm trying to be the person they want to hang out with, I want to be interesting and all this kind of stuff. And it's weird how you think about that kind of things that I don't ever think about with like my school friends, for example, but it is weird and it drains me so much that I just want to come home. I just want to get into bed or I just want to sit on my sofa or I just want to be still and quiet and silent. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever feel that, but it's just, it's, yeah, it's quite revealing. This, this video is quite revealing about me, I think. If you're anything like me, then doing something with your hands or like making something, DIYing or kind of doing something like I love to play the piano, these are things that I find also really good for self-care because they're very calming um, for the mind, especially if you're keeping your hands busy, but it's quite a mindless task. Um, so the other day I actually made flaxseed gel for my hair and I was experimenting with it and I've actually used it. And this is a day old hair though, that's why it looks a bit rubbish. But um, yeah, I was actually really interested in figuring out how to make flaxseed gel because lots of people, uh, you guys have said that it's actually really, really great. So um, I tried it out and let's take a look. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. So, on my Kelly hair journey, I have been trying out lots of different products and stuff like that, and now I feel like it's time to try some DIY stuff. So, a lot of you guys told me in my last curly hair video that I should try flaxseed gel. So I've been experimenting, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to make it. Um, and I will show you what, how it works on my hair as well. So, let's just get straight into it. Ralph, do you wanna say hello? You being shy today.
Okay, so this is how it turned out. I think that there's a little bit of difference in the consistency, so some of it's uh, quite thin and some of it's quite thick, so definitely my first time doing this, I have a lot to learn, and I think I just need to add some, some more water, so I just need to make it a little bit thinner, and apart from that, I think it's, it looks pretty good. So I use about 500 mils of water and about a quarter cup of flaxseed, so I think I would use a bit more water next time. I would definitely keep boiling it for the same amount of time, I think that that um, worked really nicely. But also I would probably use a thinner thing to strain it through. So I've seen a lot of people use pantyhose um, or old tights that they don't use anymore and obviously they're super super fine so that would probably be a really good idea. Um, but I'm going to try this on my hair and I will update you guys in a couple of weeks um, or a month kind of doing like 30 days using DIY flaxseed and let you guys know what it does to my hair and if it helps with my curl definition, uh, if it helps with moisturizing, which it's meant to do as well. And yeah, I'll give you a full update. So the last thing, which uh, I think is just as effective as my alone time, when I'm not necessarily needing to be absolutely 100% alone and isolated, uh, one of my favorite things is to go to my CrossFit gym, to go to a class in particular um, of my favorite teacher and just spend time not only working out, but also being with that community and just hanging out with them, having a fun or a silly or an interesting conversation and just having a tea or a coffee afterwards with them and just kind of chilling and hanging out and reminding myself that there are lots of wonderful people around and people are wonderful and moving your body with a community, doing something fun and interesting. That for me is really self-care because I'm choosing to spend time with really interesting people that I really enjoy their time. Even if I don't know who's gonna be in the class, I always end up having a conversation with one person, even if I've never met them before. Um, and also my favorite teacher is always there, so I really like to hang out with them and just chat to them about what they've been up to. And you kind of always felt feel cared for at my gym, which is really, really nice. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, and moving my body is one of the best things for me for self-care because it just makes me feel so good. At school, I used to play hockey and netball and I used to be on the athletics team, I used to be on the swimming team. I used to do so, so, so much sport. So for me, activity is associated with kind of just who I am as a person. Uh, I, as long as I've known, that's always been the thing that I've enjoyed the most. Um, even at school, my, my grades suffered because I was doing so much sport and really, really enjoyed it. So I had to turn that around in my last year if I wanted to go to university. But I, it's kind of one of the things that for me is just a default and just definitely is one of the best things that I can do to, to take care of myself. And whenever I think about self-care, I always think about my mind as well as my body. And I think it's really important that you kind of see the value of them linked together. I've also really been enjoying weightlifting and going to open gym and then also going to some hit classes at my gym as well because again I love the teacher who does the hit classes and she's just incredibly funny and she always lightens the mood and it's a really hard class so I really feel like I just feel really calm afterwards I don't know if you've ever done a fitness class that's like really really tough uh, afterwards you kind of feel relaxed because you put in so much energy and now you can just kind of chill out well that's how it feels for me but yeah I would love to hear <laughs> what you guys do for your self-care I try to do things that don't spend any money because for me one of the ways that I feel like in control of my life is if I manage my time and write a schedule and if I am really good at budgeting and not spending money I'm not crazy strict but I also you know have things that I would like to save for in the future so I am careful. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me for this kind of self-care video. I'm trying to get better at writing my schedules down. As I said, I just read the book Atomic Habits and it talked all about how you need to create systems and structures, not necessarily goals, even though goals can be good. So I'm gonna be focusing on creating structures so that I can manage my time a bit better so that I don't miss, or there isn't a reason why I kind of don't have a Tuesday video instead of etc um but all in a positive positive way uh if you guys want to know more about what i'm reading always head over to instagram because i have a highlight there called books that i upgrade or update far more than i update my goodreads just because it's much easier and i have so many things to update all the time that i always forget to do goodreads but i am currently reading little fires everywhere and then my next book is girl woman other and i just finished little life and atomic habits 
<sighs> that's it from me guys I really hope you like this video and if you want a video on atomic habits and structures and things like that please let me know in the comment section below otherwise give it a like if you liked it because it really supports my channel and I appreciate you guys and I hope you guys are taking care of yourself <laughs>